Hello and uh, welcome to Saki Tech. So in today's video I'll be going over the top 5 features in the new Android Jelly Bean 4.2. Now I'll be using a Google Nexus 7 tablet to showcase these features. And just so you know, if you buy any current Nexus series device, they all come with the Jelly Bean 4.2 installed out of the box. Alright, so let's dive into the top 5. Uh, number 1, and this is not in any particular order, I'm just going from 1 to 5. I'm not saying one is better than the other. So number 1 is the lock screen widget. So let's um, turn this off, turn it back on. And what you get here is you can now add various widgets to your lock screen window. What you have to do is you have to swipe to the right and then you get a space to add a widget. And uh, what you do is obviously you click the plus and you, you can pick up any available widget and add it to your lock screen for quick access. So just to give an example, let me add the calendar. Shows up right there. You can go next, you can click add, and then you can click um, Gmail. And you can pick which account you wanna add there. Well, that's just not, not, not gonna work. Try this one. Gmail, that account, inbox. And what happens is then the inbox folder displays right there so this is a very nice feature because it gives you a quick access to uh, m some of the most important things to you without you having to even log into your device. Okay, and if you want to remove them, you just press them like a regular widget and remove. Press and hold, remove. Okay, so that's uh, the first feature. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so the number two is the quick settings in the not notification area. So what you can do now, now in a tablet and a phone, it's different. So the Nexus phone, you do a swipe down and they both come together bundled. In the, in the tablets, you have on the, on the right side, I'm sorry, on the left side, you get the notification bar. On the, on the right side, you get the settings bar. <clears throat> and this is wonderful because you can now access all your settings quickly and easily through the notifications bar. This is a feature I truly appreciate. You know, in the old Android days, I used to look for all kinds of widgets and apps, which sometimes worked and sometimes didn't work, uh, to have a quick access functionality. So, <clears throat> as you can see, this is a simple demonstration. In the phone, when you pull the notifications bar up, there's a button on the top that you can click, and it just swaps over to the settings menu so from here you can access your brightness settings you know you can go to auto you can lower increase and um, you can go straight to your settings you can see the battery meter right there you can auto rotate lock if you want you know you can block the rotation of the screen you've got your uh, Wi-Fi and a couple other little features so this is a very nice way to quickly access your basic settings okay and feature number three multiple users on one tablet so now just like any other windows or mac computer you can have multiple users for instance you know for your mom your dad your brother your sister your friend your grandmother your dog it doesn't matter so this is a tablet only feature it does not exist on the nexus phone device so <clears throat> pretty much everyone can have their own home screens their own widgets their own background picture uh, apps and games so it's fully customizable for one user and the other users uh, you can easily switch between users the way you would do in a Windows device uh, the only limiting factor is that the hard drive space is usually not that much in tablets so just to give you a quick demonstration you swipe it down you know your, your um, settings bar go to settings and right here at the bottom device you go to device settings you can go to users and you can click add a user and if you read that notification <clears throat> bar uh, pop-up right there it says after you create a new user that person needs to go through a setup process just as if he bought a brand new tablet so he's gonna have his own unique experience okay so that is feature number three okay so feature number four is called the daydream feature uh, Daydream lets your Android device display useful information when idle or when docked. 
So while your device is being charged or docked, you can have it stream your photos, your Google Currents, uh, which is the built-in news application on the Nexus devices, kind of like a Flipboard app. And additionally, you can daydream live wallpapers or any other widget that is available to daydream. So let's show that real quick. Go to settings, uh, display, daydream. And then you can hear is a list of all different things you can pick. You can also see when to daydream. You can start right now. So I have the clock widget. Let's go for the live wallpaper. And I can click start now. This is what you will see while your device is locked. Uh, I'm sorry, docked or while it's idle or uh, while it's being charged. Okay, the final feature, number five is gesture-based typing. Now you can just glide your fingers over the letters on the keyboard and uh, it's gonna create the word that you want. So let's uh, make a demonstration on this. Let's go to uh, Chrome, start a new tab, and let's just type in, I wanna type in Google. But instead of actually typing it, I'm just gonna be like, go, go. And then you can do .com and go. So that is gesture-based typing. Glide your fingers over the keyboard as if you were writing it. So let's try one more. Let's do um, let's do frontier.com. So that's a hard word, right? Frontier.com. Okay, I don't have to go to that website. Okay, so that is that was the feature five, the gesture-based typing. And that brings us to the end of this video. If you liked this video, just subscribe to the channel because there are more to come. Uh, click the like button if you liked this video. And uh, thank you for watching. Have a good day, guys.